The choices in this secret ballot are fairly simple. Encourage, discourage or no option. There are 10 candidates in all. In August, former Portuguese Prime Minister Antonio Guterres was the front runner. Former Serbian Foreign Minister Vuk Jeremic came in second. One of the other top contenders is Director General of UNESCO Irina Bokova. Currently, there are five male and five female candidates. While former UN chiefs represent a wide range of countries, there's never been a female Secretary General. Current UN chief Ban Ki-moon has previously said it's high time for a woman to take up the position. Eastern Europe has been pushing for their candidates, adamant the region shouldn't be overlooked again. The process of selecting the Secretary General has changed significantly. Several smaller UN members have been pushing to make the selection more competitive and transparent. That's despite resistance from countries like the United States and Russia. For the first time, the UN published the names and CVs of all the candidates and the results of the voting. The new Secretary General will take over from Ban on the 1st of January 2017. It's a challenging job, even more so today. The next UN chief will have to be equipped to lead on climate change, global terrorism, poverty, Syria's war and other crises. There have been calls for stronger leadership at the UN and a personality that's able to bring fractious global leaders together. Clementine Logan, CCTV.